Hello everybody, and a quick message just to say before this video starts that there was a little bit of editing error and uh, my editing software didn't recognise the first portion of the video um, so it's going to start on the Carabao Cup final day. Enjoy. Finally, we are on game day against Arsenal. It's going to be an interesting one. They play a very similar system to us, actually. Uh, so it should be interesting. We are going to do that. We are going to drop to positive to start. Tighter marking. I'm not... I believe this instruction will increase our chance of getting a positive result from the match by stifling the opposition's strong teamwork. All right, we'll try it. We will, we will try it. Now, going into this, we know that Lenormand has to be replaced by Gray. That's... Neither here nor there can't do anything about that. Anthony Alanga, this will be his first game back from injury. He's going to go on the bench. I sort of feel like Michael Olise should be on the bench. He's been in a rich vein of form at the moment. My my concern, Sambi Lakonga has not been playing very well. He really. We're going to bring in Kondogbia. We're going to bring in the strength. I think the the power of Kondogbia is going to come in. Bazuno, Aaron's, Gray, Doyle, Gomez, Kondogbia, Kamavinga, Bowen, McAllister, Gurry, and Scarlett. I think that's a good a good system. We're going to distribute to the fullbacks because we don't have Lorenzo Lucas starting this one. Um, we're going to just defend naturally. I think get, get stuck in because it's Arsenal. They don't like a bit. They don't like it up them. So we'll do that. We, I, I'm tempted to go narrow, but I think we'll stay standard. We don't want to encourage too many crosses coming in. We're going to start positive, and I think this is this is the team we go with. I'm very tempted to start McCoughlin. He's done pretty well. Three goals. Gurry on a five. Gurry's last five games, 6.84. McLaughlin, 7.02. Hmm. Average rating for the season, though. I mean, Gurry takes it. I wonder if they've either of them have got performs in big matches. So, consistent performer. A physical player. Can, unlikely to improve that much. Relishes big matches. Yeah, I mean, Gurry, you are the better player. You get the start. Right. Here we go. We need big performances here from Kondogbia, Kamavinga, Gueri, Bowen, and Scarlett up front. We need we need some big performances. And and Gwei coming in at the back as well needs to play very, very well indeed. Um, apologies, the camera keeps on going in and out of focus. I don't know what's up with it today, but uh, it's been playing up a little bit. So, into the dressing room we go. They're starting Mehmet Kurdo, who's a very good youngster, I think, for them. Martinelli, Smith Rowe, Saka, McKenney, Odegaard, Hernandez, Tierney, Benjamin, well, Ben White, Tommy Asu, and Ramsdale as well. Not not a massively strong bench. Verratti, Soul, Party, Lengley. Yeah, I do you know what? Subs may may make the difference in this game, and I feel like we've got a stronger stronger bench than them. Um the fans have been fantastic. Yeah, why not? We'll go and say that. I think that's a good thing to say. At Wembley, very excited. I don't know. The pitch is bigger than ours, I think, at Wembley. So we just need to see how it goes. There's us in the 4-2-3-1 with two holding midfielders. Win, 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 draw, win. We come in in pretty decent form. And uh, Arsenal coming to this one. Win, loss, win, win, win. So they're in good form as well. A more traditional 4-2-3-1 for them. As you can see, Mehmet up front is a new gen or a regen. However you prefer to announce it. As we walk out of the central tunnel in Wembley, the players are there waiting for the announcements, waiting for the anthem. And uh, the game gets underway. And the first thing we need to do is get this back onto extended highlights for a big game such as this. And uh, I'm not actually too fussed about the Arsenal players. We'll change that in a minute. Gomez swings it in and it's headed away by Tio Hernandez. Gomez has got to get there first and does. Kondogbia. Ball over the top. Oh, he's in. Guri's in. Oh, my word. Ramsdale. How has he saved that? He was offside. But that was a save I don't think he actually meant, which is bloody ridiculous to keep that out from there. But there we go. Tommy Asu with a throw in now into Saka. And obviously, we have had trouble against Arsenal recently. It's uh, We beat them 2-1 in the league, but they had the much better of the game. As Saka turns on that left foot, great save from Bazuno to keep it a nil-nil. And you really should have fancied Saka to score there. But uh, Tio Hernandez with a throw in into Smith Rowe. Martinelli. Arsenal dominating the game a bit. Odegaard over the bar. Bazuno with a good save. And Odegaard will trundle over to take the corner. And Martin Odegaard on the ball now. Swings it in. And it's, uh, well, got about the penalty spot. It's cleared away. It's been a yeah. It's it's been all Arsenal at the moment. I don't know whether to just go a little bit more attacking to try and get us a few men up the box. Although McAllister's put a wonderful ball through to Dane Scarlett, knocks it back to Amin Guerri. 
Guerri puts a cross in. It's headed away by McKenney and Martinelli doesn't get there. Max Ahrens, Kondogbia, Kamavinga. Back to Kondogbia again. Kamavinga turns. McAllister, Dane Scarlett, Bowen. Guerri's in but couldn't find a place. Kamavinga! Oh! I thought that was the goal. And Kamavinga's put it just past the post. And it's our first shot of the game. 20 minutes in. Really not playing our best at the moment as uh, Bazuno comes out well. I think we got a bit lucky with that. Camavinga's tackled in the middle. Smith Rowe picks this one up, gets around one. Smith Rowe shoots past the post. I think we are going to go attacking. I think we're going to try and take the game to uh, to Arsenal for a little while as Gomez swings in a free kick. Bowen at the back post. Easy for Ramsdale to make the save. Come on, chaps. Come on. Corner. Gomez to swing this one in. At the near post. Oh, Ramsdale with the save. Gray tried to put it in. And Ramsdale making a couple of good saves in short succession there. As Saka's tackled well by Alexis McAllister. Oh, yeah. We're not quite getting our forward line into the game. I'm just wondering if we look to force the ball wide. Saka's in the box over the bar. Half an hour gone. I'm just thinking here. We can try and just get the ball down the left and right hand side for now let's whip those crosses in because we haven't got we've got Scarlett up there who's not going to be doing too much in terms of aerial presence I mean he's not a small lad he's a big lad but he's no Lorenzo Luca which is our secret weapon to bring on uh, the positive actually didn't change to attacking so we're going to go on to attacking now for the last five minutes of the first half Ramsdale looks to play it short out to Hernandez Martinelli McKenney, Odegaard just uh, looks to get round Camavinga. Smith throw. Odegaard again over the top. Max Ahrens is there and covers well. And Bazuno plays it out to Gomez. Doyle. Back to Bazuno again. He goes long. Not in his instructions to do that, but that's what he's done. Saka picks it up on this right hand side. He is left footed, Saka. Goes back towards Odegaard. Odegaard tackled well by Kondogbia in today. Replacing uh, uh, Lakonga against his former club, actually, isn't he, Lakonga? And I know the football manager does love a bit of that. Skane Scarlett all the way back to Gomez. Kondogbia, Kamavinga, Bow Bowen, into Guri. Guri shoots. It's 1-0. Come on, he loves the big games. Referee's going to check it. He might have been offside from Bowen's pass. And uh, it's been disallowed. It's been disallowed. How close is this? Kamavinga into Jared Bowen. He's not offside. Dane Scarlett was offside, not Amin Guerri. Oh, we've been robbed. We have been robbed. Tommy Asu throws the ball into play. And I feel very hard done by there. Saka, back to Tommy Asu, Ben White. And it's typical Arsenal and football manager to go down the other end and probably get a goal now. Max Ahrens, Bazuno clears it away again. Up towards Dane Scarlett, who wins the header, knocks it down to Amin Guerri, who had that goal disallowed for offside. Back to Gomez, keeping the ball pretty well. Kondogbia, Guerri, dinks it through. Scarlett with a header, but easy save for Ramsdale. And uh, nothing much happening there. Yeah, coming up to half time now, a minute to go. McAllister, Kondogbia, Kamavinga, up to Scarlett. He's gone for a very audacious, volleyed pass out wide. McKenney picks up the ball for Arsenal. Saka comes forward, trying to dribble his way. He's got three players for company. Picks out Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu lays it in. Saka again, back to Tommy Asu. Cuts it back. Odegaard. Tommy Asu again. Odegaard again. We are sort of stifling any ball into the box, and I spoke too soon. Because Martinelli has made it 1-0 to Arsenal. And we've been dominating the second half of this first half. And we kept the ball out here well. We were stopping the cross coming in. And Odegaard managed to just get a little bit of tiny space to swing across into the back post. And Mark Gray gets out jumped by Martinelli. And the guy who's come in as a centre-back for us has, uh, has struggled there. Hmm. Uh... I'm going to say we've been the better team. I'm, I'm not too upset with how we've been playing. And then we'll go, if you weren't that bad, you weren't that bad, you weren't that bad. We'll have a quick check. So 6.5 for Scarlet. 6.6, 6.2. Is this is this a game for Van der Beek? Donny Van der Beek and Luca Lorenzo coming on. Or Lorenzo Luca, I should say. Get it the right way around. I don't know. Into the second half we go. Into the second half we go. Let's uh, try and try and get this sorted as... I'm still a bit worried about the camera not really focusing on me correctly. As that's a great tackle from Mark Gray. He's made, a, made up for it there. Good challenge. Camavinga lays it back to Kondogbia. Looking to the far side. And Martinelli could break away. Over the top. Oh, Callum Doyle's missed the header as well. Good block from Mark Gray on it again. It'll go out for a throw. But what's up with our centre-backs missing headers? 
in this game today. It's really cost them. It's four shots for us, seven for them, both having three on target. No one with an absolutely outstanding XG at the moment, but Tommy Asu picks up the ball into Odegaard. I'm wondering, Lorenzo Luca, get crosses into the box, go further forward longer might be the option here. Bowen with a header, but McKenney picks it up. I'm, I'm wondering if we've got worse since going to attacking, you know. Martinelli turns back to McKenney into Tio Hernandez. Ball in. It's over hit. Guerri heads it away, but it's just giving the ball back to uh, to Odegaard there. Saka, good tackle from Gomez. Good bit of passing that to move the ball around quickly. Bowen over the top. Dane Scarlett does get there, but he's forced wide. Dane Scarlett cuts it back into Guerri. Guerri to Kondogbia. McAllister shoots, and that's easy for Ramsdale. And I think that is going to be Alexis McAllister's last involvement in this game. Donny van der Beek comes on. Dane Scarlett off. Lorenzo Luca on. Change to the target forward approach. And now I'm just thinking, I do want both of you as ball players. I think, in there at the moment. We don't have to focus play down the left in the game. Hit those early crosses. Float them high up in the air so that we can get um, Lorenzo Luca on it and get some set pieces into the box. We've got tall men here now. We've got proper attackers and strikers that can, that can attack this pass and attack this ball and I've just thought of one thing I think that I haven't changed and that's in transition hit the target forward with long kicks get in and around Lorenzo Luca for those flick-ons two relatively early subs in the second half Van der Beek here he is look how tall he is he towers over Ben White straight away as uh, Jared Bowen gets to the byline Camavinga cross in header oh Guerri he really should have scored what was he playing at? And that's actually puts our XG over theirs. Oh, my word. It's such a glaring opportunity. Right, Jared Bowen is going to come off. Jared Bowen off. I said Michael Elise had been in good form. This is his moment to shine. His moment to prove to us that he should have started this game. Right, let's demand a little bit more. Cup final. Got to make this count. Madueke. Tomiyasu. Down the line to Madueke again. Puts it in. Easy for Bazuno. Right, is he going to go long and is he going to hit Lorenzo Luca? The, the defence are moving up, which suggests that he is. And he does go long and he does try and hit Luca. And Ben White wins the header very annoyingly. Martinelli, Mehmet, comes forward with it. Ball through. Odegaard, Odegaard through. Bazuno, good save. What a keeper he's been for us since we've brought him in. And Odegaard's going to take this corner. And he swings it in. Lorenzo Luca is defending that near post very well from corners now. I remember to change the corners, ladies and gentlemen. I remember to change the corners. Madoiki, Smith Rowe, Tommy Asu. Back to Madoiki. Odegaard. They're playing this around well. Madoiki, ball in. Mehmet with a head. A great save again from Bazuno. 20 minutes to go. We're going to have to leave Van der Beek a bit further up the field as well. Don't bother defending too much now, buddy. We've used all of our subs. We are getting these crosses in. Um, Camavinga, if you're there as well, oh, you can't tell you to aim your crosses at. Is that because you're in central? Mid you're in holding midfield, I imagine. Yeah, we are gonna have to push it. Fifteen minutes to go, and we're gonna get Camavinga sort of trying to dictate a bit of play in that central midfield position. We can't I really. I know it's gonna cost us a million pounds giving it to Camavinga, but I really don't want to lose this game. Max Aaron's. In it goes. Elise turns back to Guay. Kondogbia. Camavinga. Van der Beek. Oh, he's pulled a fantastic save out of that on Ramsdale. But we're offside. We were offside. And there's now 10 minutes to go. Uh, I'm going to shout some encouragement at them. See if that does a little bit better. Good ball out to Elise. Max Ahrens. Good, good, good bit of footwork there to get away. Max Ahrens is still going. Early cross in. Lorenzo Luca. Oh, my God. The finish is dreadful. Ramsdale came out to collect the cross and got nowhere near it. And Lorenzo Luca puts it over the bar. Oh, my word. Martinelli shoots. Blocked. Saul picks it up as he's come on. Odegaard. Verratti. Tomiyasu. Both teams using all their subs, it looks like now. Tomiyasu on it again. Cross in. Oh, it's spilt. And Martinelli's shot is blocked by Mark Graves. At fault for the only goal of this game. Missing that header. But he's just kept us in it there. He has kept us in it. Um, let's update these. Um, I don't really know what we can do here. I feel like we have to go attacking. I feel like we don't need to play it out of defence. We can go a little bit more direct. Um, I guess we don't have to run up the defence anymore. Get the ball wide and get those crosses in. 
I mean, we've got we've got to go for it, right? We've got to go for this. It's a it's a cup final. It's a cup final. We've got to go for it. We're going to be pushing people on. We're going to be pushing up a little bit more. Get stuck in again. I feel like we've got to sort of use the offside trap now that we're having two very attacking fullbacks. I don't just feel like there's much else we can do in this. And time's ticking away. We've got a corner. Gomez, if ever we needed a front post goal now. It's Lorenzo Luca! Come on! 1-1. One, one. As I said, whenever we needed it, that was the moment. And Lorenzo Luca at the near post. Gomez picks him out. An absolute dream. And he sticks it in. And Lorenzo Luca. Ramsdale's got no chance when you've got big Lorenzo Luca coming and attacking the ball from there. And now what do I do? We're going to leave it attacking for, the, for injury time. And it is into extra time. And we have salvaged that at the death. I'm very happy. Keep it keep it up. Keep it up. Right. Do we get an extra substitution in extra time? I bloody hope so. Um, because we've got some poor performers out here. One of them is Max Ahrens at right back. It's a big game for Sergio Gonzalez on loan from uh, Barcelona to come in for. I'm going to see if we get Guri off. I trust McLaughlin, the youngster. He is coming on. He is coming on. We're going to keep you guys as complete wing backs, but we're going to put you back to support. I quite like the fact we're taking the game to Arsenal. So we're not going to change that much there. McLaughlin's going to come on. Oh, it's, it's a big shout. I, I, I'm so tempted to do Anthony Alanga, but I, I've gone with McLaughlin, the youngster, who has proven to be very, very good for us in games recently and we've taken this to extra time against Arsenal and I know we're above them in the league but they are a better club than us obviously we're still sort of lowly little Sunderland we don't have the reputation really great tackle from Elise tracking back as well but yeah this is a huge huge game for us and you'd think Arsenal would be a little bit more um easy about it, but I guess they want to win as many trophies as possible as McLaughlin's in McLaughlin shoots he's dinked Ramsdale what a way to get your third goal of the season the youngster Oh my god, what a goal. Oh my word, what a goal. Max Ahrens takes it short to Elise. In it goes. He just knocks it over the top. And McLaughlin has the pace to get away from Tommy Asu. And then that cheeky little dink over Ramsdale. He is a boy that we've got to keep an eye on in this save. He is absolutely superb. There's, I didn't have enough time to change it. I thought there was a highlight coming. There is. Doyle. Doyle brings it out from the back. And he's looking for McLaughlin again. They know we've got the fresh legs on that side. McLaughlin. Ball in. Luca. Good save from Ramsdale. We held on well as, as well. Just feel like now we're going to have to somehow make this a little bit more defensive as uh, Mehmet heads it down to Odegaard. In it goes. Just a terrible shot. That is a terrible, terrible shot. Right. Into positive. Ball in midfielder on defend. Uh, deep line playmaker on defend. We're just going to keep this box of four here. They're not going to do anything. Van der Beek can sit down again onto a support role. I'm, I'm tempted to also get McLaughlin. I'm going to keep McLaughlin on attack because he's getting into some good places. And I'm wondering, do we now say get down the left? McLaughlin seems to be outpacing and outskilling Tommy Asu on that right-hand side. I'm just a little bit wary of getting a red card now. He's got tackle harder on automatically as a ball winner. We'll leave it on Kondogbia. I trust Kondogbia to be sensible enough to not put in a stupid challenge. Come on. I feel like we've got to shout at them. Give them some praise. Keep that keep that motivation up. Ramsdale. Tierney. Who looks like he's now moved into centre-back, which should suit Lorenzo Luca a bit more. And they've brought Long Lay on at centre-back as well, as that's a good ball out to Martinelli from Saul. Back to Tio Hernandez. Saul Niguez on it again. Martinelli. Up against Max Aaron, who's not had a brilliant game. Martinelli back to Hernandez. Saw great challenge from Camavinga. Had to get that one right. And we uh, have a chance here to come away with the ball. Van der Beek looked long towards Luca. Didn't quite work. Maduike gets around the challenge of Gomez. And Maduike's pulled out Doyle from the centre-back. Ball in. Martinelli with another header. How is he so good in the air? How is he so good in the air? Oh, my word. Get to half-time and extra time with a goal, oh, two goal advantage, Elise, over the wall, Ramsdale, another good save, another good save, and it is extra time in half time, two and up, and we have definitely come back in this game, they've picked up a load of yellow cards as well, yellow cards have been dished out here quite a lot, 
as uh, there is a kickoff highlight. And I'm just thinking we don't need to do that more direct. We're going to take that left off. I don't feel like that's really worked for us since we've put that on. We haven't seen much of McLaughlin since we asked to focus down the left. And, yeah, we need to get the bounce out of him. We need to get him up against Tommy Asu. That's what we need. Maduike back to Longley. Maduike, Verratti into Martinelli. So all comes forward. You can see they are throwing a few more men forward. Great challenge from Elise as uh, Max Ahrens is there. Camavinga. Max Ahrens again. Just keep the ball. That's it. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Nothing nothing too worrisome. Luca flicked on. McLaughlin. Oh, Ramsdale. What a save that one is from Ramsdale. He didn't go for the dink this time. But that is superb. That's what we want. Lorenzo Luca with the knockdowns. And the wingers running onto it. Gomez puts it in. Saul heads it away. And, um, oh, I've never been so worried about a Carabao Cup final. Gomez throws it in. Condogbia back to Gomez. Just waste a bit of time in the corner if we have to. McLaughlin, Camavinga, turns, shoots, and Sauna gets heads it away. And Callum Doyle is there. And Camavinga gets hold of the ball again. Condogbia, Doyle, Mark Gray, all the way back to Bazuno, who should now... Oh, he's gone short to Doyle. Okay. Into Mark Gray again. And I've just realised something I desperately want to do is take you guys off ball-playing defenders because you will have... Take more risks on as ball playing defenders. And I really don't want you to do that. And I think, oh no, Bazuno, terrible kick out. And uh, Mark Gray's covered it well. Camavinga, Van der Beek, into Elise, into Luca. Uh, he's, he's useless out here. Into Elise, back to Luca again. His cross is blocked. Aaron's, Elise, Max Aaron's, McLaughlin. Oh, he's at the post. The youngster has come on and been super for us. And he deserves a winner's medal. We can get, I think we can all agree on that. Gomez back to Doyle. Camavinga dropping deep as a playmaker. I like it. Coming to get involved with the play. Condogbia, Doyle. Camavinga again. Back to Bazuno. He hoofs it. Don't mind that. Luca win the header. Does win the header. Van der Beek tackled by Verratti. Really, really well as Sal Naguez is there. Kieran Tierney into Sal Naguez again. Over the top looking for Martinelli who's now moved up front. Tio Hernandez on the left-hand side. He's got men in the middle. The cross is blocked. Van der Beek brings it away. His pass is blocked. Kieran Tierney now has the ball. He comes forward with it on the left-hand side. A cross in. Looking for Martinelli again. And Bazuno claims well. Seven minutes to go. I don't know what to do. I don't really want to drop these two guys back because I think it's a bit too defensive. We're just going to go normal wing-backs now. I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I don't want to mess with it too much. Five minutes to go. If we can get a goal. To said, Luca, what a save from Ramsdale again. Our scouts have literally just got back to me saying Ramsdale would be a superb signing. On this account, yes, he would. Gray flicks it on. Oh, Tommy Asu clears it. Condogbia. Gomez. Oh, McLaughlin. Oh, he's offside. I thought McLaughlin had a, not a tap in. Gomez was offside before the shot. And there is time sticking away. Time sticking away. This has got to be it. It is it. It's all over. We've won our first cup as Sunderland manager in the top flight. And there is the presentation. Come on. Never been so excited about the Carabao Cup. Oh, my word. Look at the size of some of our players here. Callum Doyle, giant. Lorenzo Luca, giant. Mark Gray had a great game after conceit, like the error for the goal. But we're going to lift the trophy. I'm going to lift my work phone up. Whee! <laughs> in celebration come on give Camavinga a million pounds yeah hopefully he better have had a good game in this given that you know he's getting a million pounds for us winning the Carabao Cup bloody brilliant and the cartwheel comes out by uh, number 23 is Donny van der Beek I think bringing it out but we do win the Carabao Cup in extra time we battered them McLaughlin what a substitution he was bringing him on Camavinga got a 6.9 probably doesn't deserve a million for that but we're going to go into a little bit more debt so that we can pay Camavinga a million pounds for winning the Carabao Cup final what a performance brilliant to come back absolutely loved it um the brilliant point the finger brilliant Point the finger. Brilliant. I mean, everybody gets a brilliant rating for that. Don't even care how your match rating was. To win the Carabao Cup, that is absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Come on, folks. Come on. Yes. 
absolutely brilliant. We've got our scouts going to look at all sorts of youngsters. Um, we do win the Carabao Cup. 2-1 win after extra time over Arsenal. The key player was Tommy Asu, interestingly. But Sunderland get their name on the trophy. And uh, Sunderland fans sung Dave Nichols' name as the manager inspired their team to lift the Carabao Cup and deny Liverpool for the first time in two seasons. So Liverpool have won it back-to-back. Immediate reaction on social media claimed that Nichols had shown such a staunch commitment to the supporters by winning this trophy. Oh, come on. Come on. The board are delighted. We automatically qualify for the Euro Cup too, which I think we'd get into from the league anyway. But, um, yeah, £72,000 is going to be paid out to the squad and the backroom staff. That's right. So we've made a little bit of a profit by just doing that. But, um, yeah, we can all see that bit of news there. Best match was a 2-2 Mansfield versus Port Vale. Runners-up were Arsenal. Biggest overachievers, Sunderland. Yes. Come on. And Martinelli did actually get top goal scorer as well. And um, Camavinga gets paid a million, <laughs> a million pounds for winning the Carabao Cup, which is just ridiculous. How is that a clause in his contract? Puts us back into over 50 million pounds worth of debt. But, uh, yeah, let's not worry about that. Right, we've got... Um, more news items here. Training schedules coming up and things like that. Player reaches yellow card limits. Gray and Kodobia don't care about any of that. We are Carabao Cup winners and that is amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Next up, Europa League. Uh, yeah, the Europa League games against Dynamo Kiev will probably be our next episode. Probably the second leg because the first leg's quite close anyway. But yeah, we are on a bit of a roll. Top of the Premier League. Carabao Cup winners. We're still in the FA Cup. We're still in the Europa League. There's an unprecedented quadruple at stake here. Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.